Um, John, uh, thanks uh, for, again for, for answering the questions. Um, just on the uh, the section uh, one eight three and the, the the use of that, like is 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 that something you've you've you, you're planning on using, or is that coming from the department, or or where is it coming from? Can you just tell me? Well, uh, well, uh, Senator, it's the government's bill, uh, obviously. Um, you know, I think we, we've shown our form in Shangan and working with the elected. Um, so, um, look, we, we'll work with, within whatever framework is there. Um, and regardless of what's there, I, I don't see the, the relationship changing with the councillors, that we want to bring the councillors along with us. I think it's very important to have local support for all our schemes. And okay. uh, that collaboration piece won't change. OK, so that's great. So can you just go back then to the numbers that you were talking about at the at the earlier part of the meeting? You, you mentioned the 4,200 and then the 3,000, and then I think it was a further 13,000 homes, potentially. Yeah. I think they were from sites that you were assembling. And, and I fully accept that you're without any legislation or statutory authority and without any affordable rental or, 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 or purchase you know, legislation or scheme yet. But can you tell me, Can you? I heard you then talk about how you are going to report within a year to the Oroctus and to the Minister on, um, on, on future projections. So can you just elaborate and explain that to us, please, uh, in a bit more detail? Yeah, sure. Like, there's two ways to look at the LDA. So we, we've been given the mandate to access state lands, and we have a duty to deliver. We have housing needs right now, clearly, uh, a significant housing need. And an affordability need. And we have a mandate to deliver uh, and open up state lands. So I think it's our duty to deliver on, on the state lands in the short term. But one of the original concepts behind the LDA over the long term was as a strategic land manager. So a perfect example is Limerick Colbert, where you have three right in the city, city centre of Limerick. So we're, we're supposed to be increasing the scale of Limerick by 50% uh, to 2040. And how do we do that? Where, where are they going to go? Are they continue to sprawl or will we build up what we have within the cities? And you had a situation around Colbert, a 50 hectare site that's owned by the state. And obviously the HSE is interested in providing health services. CIE is interested in providing transport services. And Limerick City and County Council obviously have, a, have an interest in providing housing. But the opportunity and the vision can be much bigger uh, if you join all those lands they are longer term but if cities are going to develop over the next 20 years it's this cohesive thinking rather than this piecemeal approach that needs to be brought to bear and to utilize any state land that we have to work out that we're going to put our people mainly in more densified situations than say the less sustainable sprawl that we've suffered from and that will continue uh, unless uh, we have significant policy movements against it leading to all the undesirable effects around environmental issues and so on that we don't want anymore. Uh, and and uh, something that's obviously, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, po po possibly one of the only positive byproducts uh, of the past year has been uh, our realisation on, on how much time we waste in commuting as well. So that, that those are the issues that we're trying trying to tackle over the long term. So if you think of short-term LDA, housing delivery, social and affordable housing delivery, long-term LDA, strategic land management, just like Limerick Colbert, uh, those are the two things that we're trying to do. And that's what those la larger 13,000 homes uh, kind of uh, uh, opportunities contemplate. Okay, and then just one last question. The criticism has been that there's only 400 uh, cost rental uh, or affordable rental units going to be delivered this year. And uh, we all know that an awful lot more than that is required, and you clearly know that and are, and are planning to deliver an awful lot more than that. But um, apart from a magic wand, what more could you be given that could uh, allow for the delivery of a significantly greater number of affordable rental units within the next 12 months? I, th I think I think look, when we're when we're looking at solely state land, um, it takes time to build bring land through processes. Uh, uh, so it takes time to to procure your design team. It takes time to for them to do the design. These are really complex sites. 
um, it's, and then it takes time to procure your contractors. And then, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to burn through uh, two or three years uh, uh, doing those activities, but they're necessary. But I think the key thing is, of course, we need housing now, we need it as soon as possible. But the key thing is for the LDA to continue to build that scale, to continue ha to have the planes circling overhead and they're ready to land over the coming years. So that, that's, that's, we want to put as many of those planes up there as possible. And that's what we're doing. And if you look, at, if you look at the graph in my presentation, uh, in my statement, you can see there's a clear trajectory towards continuing to funnel those along the process. And we, we hope within a relatively short period of time, you'll have a very large scale that's immediately deliverable. So that's the, that's the first thing. The, the second, the second point, the, the other point you made is how do we get delivery in the next 12 months? Um, I understand the cost rental equity loan schemes targeted, uh, deployed through approved housing bodies. They may be able to tar target maybe non-state but nearer term deliverable land that could be positioned towards the delivery of cost rental homes. I think that's a really viable option. And I think that's a really positive initiative of the department and AHBs that they're deploying at the moment. Okay. Thanks, John.